Hey guys, it is me, Spooky Brandy, and I'm coming to you from my um, my Twitch station, my computer. Um, I just thought, honestly, with everything I've got and the desk space, it would just be much easier to record it here. Um, hopefully you can hear me okay. Um, I do have a new mic, so I'm testing all of that out. Maybe I can do some ASMR, but not today. So today, you guys had requested that I do a Christmas haul. This is everything that I got for Christmas, but on top of that, I also have two packages to open. One of them is the uh, Jeffree Star Winter Mystery Box. I got the little baby version. I forgot which one that is. Um, and then I also got a package from my friend Genesis, who is a subscriber, and she's also quite frequently in my Twitch chat. So um, she is a huge, huge supporter of the channel and, and me, and I just cannot thank her enough. So she sent me a package. So we're gonna open that as well because I'm gonna count that as like Christmas because uh, today is the 27th. So it's only two days past Christmas. So there's a lot to get through. So let's get into it. Uh, my friend Roger, you guys might remember him if you were watching the channel around October of last year. Um, he actually brought over a few things. First, this, oops, this Edward Scissorhands coffee mug. Um, which is amazing because it's giant. So uh, with my obsession with coffee, uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna come to great use. So <laughs> then he also got me this Macho Man Randy Savage Funko Pop. Um, let me get that in frame. There we go. How glorious! How absolutely glorious is that? Um, he also got me the Harry and Lloyd Funko Pops from Dumb and Dumber. Thank you to him. Um, I'm a huge Dumb and Dumber fan, so that made me giggle out loud, so. <laughs> okay, then my friend William, which I don't think you guys have seen him on here or anything. Um, he's, he's a friend from years ago. I've known him since I was like 18 and working at um, Piggly Wiggly. Um, so yeah, we would go way back. So he and I recently started talking again and he brought me over the Knight of Ren Funko Pop. This is the Walmart exclusive version. And he also got me Vicious from Cowboy Bebop, which I don't know. I, I mean, I kind of want to take it out of the package so I can see it and like play with it and everything, but I kind of like for collectability sake, I think I might keep it in the, I, I don't know. It's hard. It's really hard to <laughs> like decide whether or not to keep these in package or not. Oh, before I would go any further, quick reminder and also a little bit of housekeeping, please subscribe to the channel if you have not already done so. I have noticed that YouTube has been purging subscribes lately, so that may be why you're not seeing my stuff in your feed. So please make sure you're subscribed and also hit the notification bell so you know when I go live, which I have been doing a little bit more frequently. Um, also, it gives you notifications of like comments that I've posted and things like that. So please do that um, if you want to stay in touch. Um, okay, next. Now I've talked about Lindsay so much. So you guys are fully aware who Lindsay is. Uh, she's a friend from 20 years, 20 years at least we've been friends. She's also my tattoo artist. Um, she's just an amazing person and I love her to death. She actually recently got into like resin making, like resin stuff. Um, and so she made me a couple of things handmade which is awesome. Um, first, she got me one of these little defense kitties. I don't know if you've seen these, but you can put it on your keychain. There's a little hole there to put on the keys. And you just hold it like, you hold it like this. And then you can, you know, stab, stab. Meow, meow. Uh, <laughs> so, that's awesome. Uh, I feel like every woman needs something like handheld that's not considered a weapon that she can take into any place um, and uh, have, you know, because it is a dangerous place out there. And some people just really do not realize 
how incredibly dangerous it is for women. Even if you are a strong, independent woman, you know, you don't have to be weak and feeble and, and girly and femme to be a victim. So it's very important to have everything you possibly can at your arsenal, especially if you're a mom. You know, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a crazy, crazy dangerous world. So keep yourself protected, okay? Uh, the other thing she made for me, it is a little coffin box. And she also made sure to make, make it like green and purple, which are my favorite colors. Um, but the lid opens like so. Um, and actually I've got my Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab perfumes in here right now, but it has like a little, little pusheen uh, in the back there which I thought was a cute little touch. Um, but yeah, I've got my, uh, my B-Pal samples in here. Perfect size for this. Um, sweet, okay. So next, um, my family got me a few things. So my sister, she got me this Moonology book and it really goes into more detail. So I, I know I've told you guys about that moon magic book that I've showed on here um, a couple times, um, but this is, is a little bit more detailed and really focuses on the moon itself rather than the spell work around the moon. It gives you a good basis for any moon magic that you're trying to do. Also, it goes into um, all the different like moon phases and how they relate to the zodiac, um, which is like the main, part of this book. So I'm really excited to look into this further. Um, that's going to be good education, definitely needed. She got me these Edward Scissorhands nail polishes. I guess they came in like a two pack. Um, and it's what I'm wearing on my nails right now. So the white is like this one. Oh, hold on. There we go. The white is this like speckle and then the gray is what I'm wearing. So it's like a, it's a matte gray with glitter, which is very interesting and I love it. My sister also discovered that I am a big Kylo Ren fan. <laughs> yes, yes. So I get to snuggle with Daddy Ren whenever I want. Very exciting. <laughs> um, also uh, for my family, my mom got me cash cash money, which she knows as, as a mom that I, I desperately need any help that I can get in that category. So cash money is amazing. I was very happy to get that. Um, but also she got me this really cool, um, it's like this oven mitt set. So it's like an oven mitt and it has actually, it came with two oven mitts and a pot holder with like the skull and the roses, which is awesome. And she got me this face mask with the skulls and the roses. So I just, I, I thought they were very, very cool and I can never have too many masks because especially after being in lockdown for almost a year, my masks are starting to get torn and you know, worn out. So I can always use more. <laughs> okay, so that is everything that I've gotten so far as far as like gifts um, are concerned. Let's get into my Jeffree Star mystery box real quick. This is the smaller box, which is why I'm not dedicating like a whole video to it. Um, it should not be too many. I think it's only like three things. So the box looks like this, by the way. It just had like snowflakes and stuff on it. This was the $25 box. Ooh, okay. So I've got his lip scrub. This is in, it's the watermelon gum flavor. Now, uh, my lips do get really dry and flaky, especially in winter time. And it's always good to go in with a lip scrub if you're putting on any kind of liquid lipstick to increase the longevity of the product and also to make it not look so ugh. Um, but that's what the package looks like. Cute, cute. All right, let's just open her up and see what it smells like. Wow. That straight up smells like watermelon bubblicious gum. Watermelon bubblicious gum, that's what this smells like. Oh my God. Oh, I just hit my mic. Yep, yep. That smells scrumptious. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh man. Okay, so I got the Shane Dawson liquid lipstick, I believe. This is the liquid lipstick, hold on. Oh, is this a bullet though? 
Yes. Okay. So this is the Shane Dawson, Jeffree Star collaboration liquid lipstick in Jeffree What the Fuck. <laughs> the reason I said, oh man, is because I already have the shade, but I do like the shade. So I guess it's a good thing that I have a, an extra. Um, and then we have the gloss. Uh, yeah, this is the gloss and this is in the shade Beaded Glass. Um, okay, so this is the beaded glass in the tube. Let's see if I can do a quick little swatch. Actually, I might just put this on over my lipstick. Ooh, it's got like a cakey vanilla smell. No mirror needed. Oh, that was an AM ASMR opportunity that I missed. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's got this like, it's almost like a, a champagne and it almost looks like greenish flecks in there. Um, but it looks lovely. Now the last thing, last but certainly not least, I'm going to dig into this package from Genesis and Family. Okay, sweet. So first, right off the top, we've got some bath products. So I have the Peach Coconut Raspberry Beach Bomb Bath Bomb. This will come in handy once I move to my apartment because <laughs> my current bathtub does not facilitate a large gal like myself. So I can't really take long soaks. Um, then, ooh, this is a coconut and wildberry body souffle for after the shower. I have hella dry skin, so this will also come in handy. Ooh, that's an interesting smell. Very interesting. It's subtle though. It is subtle and um, hey, moisturizer is, an, is a must for me. Okay, let's see, what else do we have? Shower fizzers, okay, cool. So they, they make shower fizzers because you know, obviously there's the bath fizzers. Um, this one is therapeutic, calming and relaxing. Comes with three. Wet tablet under the running wa shower water, place in the shower floor in the corner away from the direct spray of water. And it, release it releases in the steam. Huh. Oh my God. Look at this ridiculously cute hair bow. Oh my God, thank you. Oh, that's so cute. That is absolutely adorable. And my cats are meowing at the door. Ooh, I got some stripey witch socks. Stripey witch socks. Sorry, I couldn't say that. Got some uh, cool green um, stripey witch socks. I love the color green. I love it combined with black. So that is awesome. Um, let's see, I got another bath bomb. It looks like it's the fairy bath bomb. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. It looks like it's got some glitter in it. It's very hard to tell, I know. Um, okay. And... Oh, you were trying to pamper me, aren't you? Um, there's unicorn bath salts. Those are cute. Very glittery. Um, red wine and charcoal bad bath bomb. Oh, there's a glare on my face. That's cute. Okay, uh, more shower fizzers. Let's see. Therapeutic, exotic, and uplifting. I can't quite smell these, but um, I'm sure they smell amazing. <laughs> um, let's see. <gasps> it's an ugly doll. So one of my subscribers uh, got you guys these cute little surprise ugly dolls. So this one is called Pancake Champ Jiro. Um, and this one is um, Super Lucky Bat. So that's the Super Lucky Bat. Okay. So which one do you guys want? I want this one. Okay, so we gotta open them though because apparently there are surprises inside. Can you see it? <laughs> All right, so then, oop. Oh no! I dropped it. This is one surprise. It's like a, I guess like a megaphone. 
but this is the other thing that came with Lucky Bat. Oh, he comes with a championship belt. That's pretty amazing. Do you mean my character? Yeah, because he's a little wrestler, a little luchador. And he's got a trophy. That's so cool. Here, I'll get him out of the package too. Oh God, I dropped your... There you go. Say thank you to Genesis. Genesis, thank you. Genesis, thank you. Well, they are gonna have a blast with those. That is for sure. So thank you, appreciate that. Okay, Ay, what else? Oh, cute. It's a little, it's a little cactus candle. <laughs> so cute. Oh my gosh. And then it's a little candy corn unicorn hair bow. So precious. The girls are gonna love these. They are um, playing with all of their Christmas stuff and they do not want to be interrupted, which is why they're not in this video. <laughs> okay, I also got another one of these um, facial sponges. This one is bamboo charcoal. Very cool. I love the one that you gave me in the last package that it's working quite well. Um, I'm trying to not have this like in is that better okay um and last but certainly not least she got me some skeleton socks how adorable i have so many socks now <laughs> i am not gonna run out of socks for a very long time <laughs> so thank you so much um oh one more thing this was something i actually bought for myself but i got the my pet monster funko pop do you guys remember my pet monster oh do you guys remember my pet monster i loved him he he was a toy like a plush toy that was like i don't know two two foot tall he was pretty big uh, i was like an 80s thing so um when i saw it in funko pop form i was like i need um because i simply do not have the space to accommodate the big guy and uh even if i was able to find him he'd probably be like hella expensive because it's an antique um, anyway, okay, so real quick, um, I know this is already running a little long, but I'm gonna try to wrap this up as much as I can. So, uh, I got one more thing for Christmas. I got a boyfriend. <laughs> um, so, uh, this was not planned. If you guys are ever on my Twitch streams, or if you ever watch um, any of my Twitch highlights on my gaming channel, which is the other channel, um, you may have seen somebody in my chat. He's the moderator of my chat, and he also plays Phasmophobia and Minecraft with me pretty frequently. Um, and his name is Juggalo Slip on the chat and everything. I've known him as long as I've known my uh, my ex-husband. Um, so I've known him for about 15, 16 years, something like that. Um, and uh, he was actually a friend of my ex-husband's. They're not friends anymore. My ex stopped talking to him years ago for like absolutely no reason. But um, as this whole separation thing has been going on, you know, he and I have been spending a lot more time together um, online and just talking and like, you know, he's been really supportive and just emotionally, you know, very supportive. And so he's been there for me through some of the tougher days, you know, um, and I started to develop feelings for him um, over the last month or so. But he has a girlfriend. Aha! So he has a girlfriend. They've been together for, I, I want to say, 20 years, but it, it, I don't know the exact amount of time. But they've been together for longer than I've known them. So in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, he is totally off limits, right? Like, like there was a little bit of flirtation there. There was definitely an attraction building on my part. And I felt like he was flirting back, but you know, I was like, no, 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 he's got a girlfriend, he's off limits, right? So I wasn't even gonna go down that road, but the feelings kept getting stronger and stronger. And um, at one point he messaged me and he's like, hey, so my girlfriend and I have talked about this in the past and she is completely open to a polyamorous relationship. Um, I've never been in a polyamorous relationship, so this is my first, but basically uh, it's considered a V. So my boyfriend, his name is Wayne, that's his actual name, um, and he is kind of in the middle of things. So he has 
his girlfriend, and then he has me. So I'm not with her, and she's not with me, but we're both with him. We just started dating like a week before Christmas. Um, so this is brand new. Okay, guys, so like we have not done a whole lot of anything. We're not like, we're not in a place where we're making like future plans or anything like that. So this is brand new, okay, it, you know. But I wanted to let you guys know because I'm excited. Um, I'm very excited. He is awesome with the kids. And like I said, I've known him for as long as I've known my ex-husband. So he's met the kids before. Like he's very, he's watched them grow up, you know. Um, and I'm, I'm cool with his girlfriend. Um, you know, we don't know each other as well. Um, but, you know, she and I are cool. Um, she has talked to me as well and said that she is supportive of this whole thing um so she's i've actually talked to her in person so it's not i'm not just taking his word for it she has said that she is cool and i've told her i have the utmost respect for their relationship so if anything changes she changes her mind or anything like that she can come to me and say hey i don't think this arrangement's going to work out i just want to have my boyfriend back and go back to old times if that happens it happens and i will respect her wishes i'm holding back a little bit right because I don't want to get too excited or too invested since it's, it is so new and I don't know how things are going to go. They could change next week. They could change in two months. And obviously, like I've said on this channel, I am planning on moving to Greenville. That has not changed. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm excited for the future. I hope great things from all of this, um, but we will just have to see. I hope you guys had a happy holiday. Whatever you ended up celebrating, however you ended up celebrating, I hope you try to make the most of it. And if not, not a big deal. If you decided to cancel this holiday season and just forget it existed, that is also completely acceptable and understandable in this situation. So with that being said, uh, I will see you in my next video where I will be doing a New Year's special. I'm going to be talking about this past year. I'm going to talk about the positives and the challenges and what I've learned and what I th think society has learned and all of that. So anyway, please go ahead and subscribe if you want to be part of the spooky family. Go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed this and you guys have an amazing rest of your day. You're amazing. You're gorgeous. And if anyone tells you anything different, they can suck it. Mwah.